Ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azine Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, a very big congratulations to Sasuke, Black Girl Fly, as she joins the Oppo A96 squad. Yes, guys, she angel and black bonus um the musician i hope i got his name correctly yes guys they are all members or um ambassadors for this newest oppo phone that is about to be unveiled tomorrow or the day after tomorrow yes guys a very big congratulations to them i love the fact that oppo actually chose young celebrities to you know represent them because that is really what this phone you know is all about yes guys a very big congratulations to sasuke okay guys now away from that ah people of god <laughs> Even though I could not do a video like to show my face, I told myself, ah, isn't it? There's no way this just is going to miss your subscribers. I'll come here and come and give you guys the latest gist that has been trending since last night. Gist lover is back, oh, people of God. And she came back with a bang. <laughs> Anyways, before we get into that, people of God, I saw this um, stuff that Tatcha posted. Um, she posted this on Twitter and she said, after all that surgery, you're still ugly and that is what gets me now i do not understand why she posted this like who do you think that tacha is throwing shades at because i'm trying to do my investigation on this whole thing then i realized tacha and maria unfollowed each other apparently from what i heard tacha unfollowed maria and then um, maria returned the favor whatever happened i do not know yes guys and some people are speculating that this might have something to do with it I do not know. Some are saying, oh, Tasha unfollowed because, you know, Maria and Mercy, aka are friends. People of God, I do not want to go and do cho cho cho, the one that I do not know. But whatever it is, the Tasha I know, this one she's throwing shit. Hmm. Let's just keep our fingers crossed because no matter what happens, we are still going to get to the bottom of this gist. Anyways, guys, now let's talk about the trending gist. Ah, people of God, this one, I don't know, it passed my power, but I'm gonna try to dissect it for you guys. So, Gist Lover came back now, you know, after how many of her pages has gone. And she came back and told us, ah, we should not sleep, oh, that there's plenty gist, that this kind of gist is gonna shake a lot of people. I'm like, ah, Gist Lover, eh, John, now which kind of gist is this? Anyways, Gist Lover lab posted this. Mm. So apparently, this man, Oga Michael, is sharing Bola among these five beautiful ladies. Allegedly, oh, people of God. Now, according to Jis Lover, hmm, the story long, but I will try. Jis Lover said that this man married to Rosie. Now, this Rosie is also friends with Nengi. Yes, yeah, so do you remember one time like that? There was this gist about this man and Nengi. And then, you know, Nengi posted a video of she and this lady, who is actually this man's wife, as then, who is actually still his wife now. And a, lo a lot of people were like, how can she be, you know, dating somebody that is, you know, her friend's husband, right? And we all debunked that gist, that there's no way. Well, according to what this lover wrote, this woman has finally parked her kaya and left the house. Yes, so because of the numerous bola sharing of this man. Yes, so people of God, this lover said that this man had something, something to do with Nengi bought her a car yes i think range rover vela if i'm not mistaken this man also is the ogre that is in charge of the sponsoring of our beautiful nancy esimes trip to istanbul also the one that sponsored you know her tv show and all that in fact it was not even just lover that said that one it was nancy esime that said that one herself and she was trying to clarify you know the allegations that were leveled against her but i'm not done i'll still come back to nancy esime you know they also said though that this man also bought is it a house i'd be another car for actress onya lex they also said that this man 
also secretly married uh what's her name actress noella you remember noella the one that got married to tichi the chicker eh? yes guys and they divorced because tichi the chicker cheated on her or something like that yes and that is not even the worst part of according to just love a people of god she said that there was a time that this man and the wife traveled to the UK. Guess what? Noella was also part of that trip. In fact, Noella was in the private jet making videos and posting it for the whole world to see in a bid to taunt the wife. People of God, this one Naike grew situation because I really do not know where to start or where to end in all this. Now, according to what Gislova put out, this man also is the owner of one investment company. And from what I gather they said that it's your investment money that is being used to service all these bills. Yes, allegedly, according to just lover, people of God, that is what I heard. Now, I mean, I would have just, you know, um, not minded about this gist, to be very honest. I would have just, you know, um, as usual, scroll past this gist and all that. What actually caught my attention was that Nancy Asime came on Gist Lover's page and commented, yes, you know, she was like, she has never gone to Istanbul before, you know, that, you know, how can, um, you know, and all that, trying to like debunk that on Gist Lover's page. People of God, I felt like she shouldn't have. And that actually fuel this whole thing the more because that made just lover go on and on and on about this particular thing in fact she was now focusing just on nancy asime now nancy asime also um commented on just lover's page and said uh -uh, above life why i no go come here no be violence nation you know what make i follow gather deny mr michael dongoli how i beg read inside these comments make you see what where i write say i know i'm nine nine company uk don't be the headline sponsors of my show tn is season three now me even host their new office lunch i even invite her money family and staff come my birthday yes guys that was what nancy asimi posted the second post she made on just lover's page just lover replied her and went on to say oh there are receipts their receipts will soon start flying here and there and all that now when all these things were happening the said man's wife rosie posted this on her insta story she said i'm done being stupid then she now put the heartbroken emoji false pretense everywhere hashtag beautiful liars wow woo <laughs> now as all this was going on nancy asime had to really come out to write a whole lot of episode on this whole thing and i'm gonna read what she put out she said if you're a nigerian woman with plans to be successful please add these names in your plans so it doesn't surprise you when it comes a shower or low show if you're not a nigerian this actually means a prostitute basically um especially if you decide to be an actress it's an automatic naming ceremony if you like if you like be a virgin i knew the breaking news was coming there's been too much positive news about me online not everyone likes that once your name drives traffic the propaganda begins with or without evidence but listen i refuse to be bullied by patriarchy sad part is i haven't even scratched surface yet god just started with me and yes it's easy to say ignore until you on set your mean till 11 p.m on the phone constantly working towards the season premiere launch of your show amongst other obligations for brands you work with and future prospects literally mentally and physically exhausted from trying to make something out of your life only to check your notification and it's loaded with comments calling you out of your um of your name i'm talking thousands of comments like I said, since we can't sue a faceless account, we at least deserve concrete proof of the allegation laid. Dig it all up, let's see, not just resort to calling names and trying to bully me into silence out of fear and even restricting my comments so no one can see them scrimmaging the same comment for clout. 
sad part is to them, they are tearing down one woman, but what they don't know is they are telling thousands and millions of young women that they can never make it without succumbing to predators, thereby influencing them negatively and exposing them to these predators and their pimps who tell them this is what your role model does, so you have to do it if you want to succeed. That's how the circle continues. I'm fully aware that the media will drive any propaganda they want, but I'll do my best in breaking this bias no matter how much I am challenged. Ten years from now, we'll look back at a time where female entrepreneurs are referred to as prostitutes, unprovoked, and laugh. Until then, we go, they succeed, they go. Yes, guys. Now, what do I think about all this? To be very honest, at some point in this whole gist, I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. Because in this kind of gist, because the internet is literally an illusion, you really cannot vouch or you really cannot drag anybody, especially when there are no receipts. Because me, right now, if there are no receipts and there is no evidence that something has been done, it's really not right to start judging people. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Because had it been I saw receipts about this, probably I would, you know, talk much about it. But now there are no receipts to back up all these claims. I really don't think I have anything to say about this for now. Until the receipts floods, you know, the our timeline on social media here. Then I'll come back and give you guys a proper analysis, yeah? But then again, I feel Nancy shouldn't have commented. See, um, I don't know how to put this, yeah? I've noticed this. Whenever somebody says things about you online, I've had that experience, um, and you comment on it, trust me, you are fueling that person to do more. And I feel like she shouldn't have. I'm not saying she should ignore, nah, nah, nah. I mean, she put all these other ones on her Insta story. This is her speaking out, right? And the way she was even commenting, to be honest, trying to be friendly, oh, all about this, blah, blah, blah. She didn't have, I don't know, maybe somebody advised her and then she went to hit the nail on the head when she was putting the stories, um, the, the comments of, or the post on her Insta story. I don't know if you guys noticed the, the, the way she responded in the comments, oh, Oh, bye. <laughs> this one, this one, you know, and then in her story, she was sounding all, you know, um, I don't know, like a powerful woman, like, you know, very, I don't know how to put it, but I just feel like the tone were just different. And I just think that if you start that kind of, with that kind of friendly, or oh, you are my person kind of tone for somebody that is, you know, putting out something that according to you is not true, then something is really fishy somewhere. Yeah, I mean, there's no need to shall I, yeah, You are not the only one that that her name was mentioned. Um, Noella's name was mentioned. Alex, um, only Alex was mentioned. Nengi was mentioned. So why carry it on your head? I don't know if you guys get what I mean. Like, I just didn't understand why she felt like she should go to the page and write all those things she wrote. Like, it's making people think that maybe there is really something that is really going on that she's afraid that the world will see whichever one shall people of god i'll keep my fingers crossed whatever just drops we are going to come back here and we're going to analyze it but what do you guys think do you think that nancy i mean our nancy is able to do all that like i said me i'm not vouching for anybody but do you think what do you actually think with everything that just lover put out if you want to um get more just about you know this whole thing you can kindly go to just lovers new page and go check it out yes guys now away from that nancy Esime is not the only one that has been under fire lately um tega especially have been under fire too because of this video that she put out um that has sammy in it now she put out this video was it yesterday or early today yes guys a tiktok video you know where she was like oh i the entire your eye i'd be and all that now people in the comment section were not nice they were like why would she put out something like this as a married woman blah 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 you know our country people now i'm asking you guys do you think that there's anything wrong with this video or is it just because it is tega let me know what you think about it 
in the comments section and on that note i say thank you guys so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl azine williams have yourself a beautiful wonderful day ahead bye guys